In this video, we want to find the expansion of 1 plus x squared times cosine x in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. Now, you've got two alternatives here. The first alternative is that you would need to differentiate this um, and you would need to differentiate it three times in order to make sure you've got each of the coefficients okay, for uh, the terms you need to up to x cubed. Now, you can do that. That's going to be product rule done several times. Alternative to that would be to get your expansion for the 1 plus x all squared and multiply it by the expansion for cosine x. Okay, So that's the way I'm going to do this. So, so that I'm actually using this result. So 1 plus x all squared times cosine x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus x squared times cosine x, which has this expansion. So 1 take away x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, etc. OK, well, the next one's going to be minus. OK, now what we need to do is expand this out. Now, obviously, on the left hand side, we've just got three terms. But on the right hand side, we've got an infinite number of terms. Um, so we don't need, there are going to be many terms in there, or an infinite number of terms, that we just can discard, that we're not interested in. Because we only want to go up to and including the term of an x cubed. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply 1 by each of these terms. So 1 times 1. 1 times minus x squared over 2 factorial, so 1 half x squared. And then I'm going to get 1 times x to the 4 over 4 factorial. But I'm not interested in that because that term is x to the 4, and I only want to go up to x cubed. So I'm not interested in any more terms. Then I'm going to multiply the 2x by each of these terms. So 2x times 1, so I'm going to get a plus 2x. And then 2x times minus x squared over 2 factorial. So the 2 will cancel with the 2 factorial. x times x squared is x cubed. I'll have minus x cubed. And then the 2x will multiply with this term, but I'm going to get a, an x to the 5. Um, so I'm not interested in that. So lots of terms I'm going to discard. Then x squared times 1. And then x squared times this term will get me an x to the 4. I'm not interested in that. And I'm not interested in x to the 6 either. So these are the terms I need to consider. Now, unfortunately, they didn't kind of neatly line up. Uh, I could have lined these up if I'd been a little bit more careful with this. So how you could have lined these up is to go, right, and know that you're going to have something x there, and then have the minus half x squared. Uh, plus other terms, and then the next term is 2x, and then take away x cubed, plus other terms, and then you've got the x squared, plus other terms. And so from there, you can kind of easily see you're going to have 1 plus 2x, minus a half x squared, plus x squared is plus a half x squared, and then minus x cubed, etc. Okay, and so this is the expansion I'm looking for.